Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use WordPress in the backend and React in the frontend with a decoupled architecture. And whether you are a beginner or you have a very little technical knowledge, you're just a user, or even if you are a professional developer, this is going to be for you. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this Gatsby theme that I've built which means that your front-end application will be in React using JavaScript and that will use the Gatsby framework and your back-end will be in WordPress. So if you already have a site, uh, existing site in WordPress, you can go ahead and use this theme so that your users can have a better experience when you, they are using your front-end application. So as you can see that this is the Gatsby site, this is already live so you can test it on this URL. and all of the content that you see over here, the menu, uh, you know, the images that you see, the banner. Uh, you also have a search option, so you can search like this, and you can go into that post. And then you have categories, you can click on these categories. There you go, you can see you've got post related to categories over showing over here. You can go on the next page as well. So you can click on the next page and you can go on the next page and then if you scroll down you have the featured post which you can select from WordPress you can select from the backend you can click on read more currently it doesn't have a lot of content but you can put that you can put featured image as well okay uh, you can see all of the blogs so this is the blog post page that you currently seeing and this has got all of the blogs being listed over here you can click on the next page then you can see you have next page you can go back to previous page so you've got the pagination over here uh, you have the site logo that you see and you also have a latest post section which will show three of the latest posts okay um, and these are the widgets that you see over here uh, so a lot of you have asked me can I use widgets from WordPress into my front-end react application the answer is yes you can do that so these widgets that you see right here are coming from WordPress and then you also have options to select a header menu which is this and a footer menu as well right and the best part is that there are some of the cool features that this is going to give you first is the performance I mean you click on the page like this and you can see that you go straight into this page so it's so smooth right I mean you, there is no page refresh unlike if you build a theme in WordPress if you use WordPress theme then there will be a page refresh notice there is no page refresh wherever I click right so I can go to any pages and it's super super fast user doesn't have to wait it's almost instant right okay apart from that what are the other features that it offers so why should you use this theme well if you do a refresh you will notice there is a blur effect which means that the images are optimized so when you go to these blog pages and just do a hard refresh you can see that the images are being uh, loaded uh, with a lazy load which means that they are optimized okay uh, right and apart from that this application that you see is also PWA which means it will work in a poor connectivity uh, it's going to work even when the user is offline which means you will get a better user experience more users will be engaged on your site because the clicks are almost instant a lot of people leave the website when it's slow so you can see it's really really fast and at the same time because it's PWA so let me give you a demo so this this uh, one is responsive as well which you will show in, in a moment okay so let's go to this URL which is the same URL of the theme and you can open it you can see there is a blur effect so images are being optimized and now you get an option to add to home screen when you do that this gets installed as an application as a mobile um, as an application on the mobile itself just like other apps so now if you go to your other apps where all other apps are there you can see there is an icon you open it you straight into the app and now you can see that you know this behaves like your native app right it looks beautiful isn't it it's responsive and there you go and now what we're gonna do is so now I've closed the application and I'm going to go offline so I've switched off my internet and I'm going to open the app again there you go and you can see there is no internet but still my website works 
Isn't that brilliant? Awesome. So you can try it out yourself. You can just open this URL in your mobile application and uh, try to add it to your mobile and try to use it offline. Okay. Brilliant. Now, so this is the front end that you've seen also. I want to show you in the, the back end stuff. So this is my back end. Uh, I'm also using your ACF. A lot of you have been wondering, can I actually use ACF with React on the front end? Well, yes, you can. With this theme, uh, you can go ahead and use ACF. So you can see all of these fields have been created with the ACF and all of the content, most of the content I would say that you see on the home page is coming from the ACF, right? So if you go to the pages, you can see these are all of the pages that you see on the front end, right? And let's go on to the home page. So this is my home page and you can see all of this content, the banner, the description, the image, the search label, right? The taxonomies, which is your categories, um, your icons that you see over here, so these icons, right? Uh, your featured post, you can select whichever post you want to show in the front end, so you can decide. It's all yours. Go ahead, use it. <laughs> okay, so all of these contents that you see are coming from here, right? So you have a featured post selection as well, and then you have the latest uh, three latest posts that are being displayed right here, okay? Now, you have an option to set the menus. Um, so if you go over here, you go to menus. So these are the menus. So there's a header menu. So all of the menus that you see on top is coming from the header menu over here. And then you have a footer menu as well. So you can select the footer one. You can set these yourself. You can change their alignment. You can, you know, uh, rearrange them whatever you like whatever you put over here is going to be shown onto the footer okay and uh, whatever link you put that page is going to open up right okay and then you also have widgets options so the widgets that you see down at the bottom which is widget 1 and widget 2 that's coming from here so you can see the HCMS footer and the content that you uh, put over here is being displayed right here. Okay, so you have an option to put, to put uh, two widgets as well. In fact, you put, can put more as well, but I would recommend as per the design you put two of them. Okay, the social icons that you see, uh, you must be wondering, can I change that? Well, yes, you can. So come over here into customize. And then you have the social link section, so you can put all of your links over here. So whatever links you put is going to be shown, uh, is going to be inserted in, in as a link for these. Okay, if you want only three of them, you can just use three of them as well, right? Great. And what about, uh, can I change the title? Well, yes, you can change the title. So you just have to come over here, change the type title from here, change the tagline, right? You can change it, whatever you put that, as you can see, that will be displayed here. Okay, even the title can be changed from here, and then the logo can also be changed. Okay, so all all of these are editable, and uh, even the link for this page that they currently takes you to the blog page. You can change that if you want to take it to a different page. Okay, and you have a search. So whatever post you're going to put, you're going to have the search option for that. Okay, so you will get, and it's an instant search, right? So it's 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 like lightning fast. Right, and uh, how can you actually use the theme? Is it free? Yes, is it, it is free. I build this only for you people. You can use it. How, where can I get it from? Well, you can get it from the NPM. It's, it's totally free on NPM. So you can install this theme in your Gatsby project. I'm going to show you in a moment how to install it and all of the information about it, how to set it up and everything has been given over here. So super cool, isn't it? Right. I will be adding more features into this uh, soon like uh, I'll be adding forms which a lot of you have asked me um, and I will be adding more stuff as well maybe currently we have pagination if you would like to load more or something you know we'll always add that we can also probably add authentication if you need it but uh, for now I, I think this is good enough as for a general use if you want to have a blogging site this is perfect for you okay and if you have more needs you can always check so you can see that you've got taxonomy archive page as well Awesome, great. So I hope you did like the theme. If you did, please give a thumbs up to the video. Do like to my and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, follow me on Twitter.
So my Twitter handle is Cody Tech. Okay. So follow me here to support my work and and please give star just add star to my repository to support my work and I'll be updating this as well. And please do follow me on GitHub by hitting the follow button. You should get that over here. Okay. Brilliant. So that's all. Uh, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up, set up this theme for your own use from scratch. Okay. Which will be pretty simple. Even if uh, you are a regular user, you can still use it. Okay. See you then. Bye-bye.